What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, as usual. So, guys, the other day I was going through my YouTube channel, going through some old videos, and I came to the conclusion that something is missing and I need to fix that. We need a series back here on the Dr. Baloney channel. And as the world's greatest gynecologist, I can say without a doubt in my mind that if you are over the age of 25 and you would like a free online breast exam from the world's greatest gynecologist himself, all you have to do is send a picture of your titties to my DMs on Twitter. And again, this is online. It is completely free. Anyways, I mean, you know, that doesn't really relate to the video at all. It's just, you know, we celebrate like made up shit every month nowadays. I thought I'd just make up my own month. And this, uh, this time it is March celebrate your tits month in Dr. Bolo's DMs. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and do like a little 180 here so I can talk about what I was actually meaning to talk about in this video. And that's the fact that I want to start a new series here on the channel and it starts today. All right. I ain't got time to sit around and waste on this shit. I hate wasting goddamn time. But what I do have time to waste for is watching some women get rejected. And honestly, I think this is going to be a fantastic series for the channel because sometimes these women, they just can't handle rejection, right? Like they've never had it before in their life, except for when their father left to get some milk. But when some of these girls get rejected, bro, they don't know how to handle things. So they like start to internally combust and just go fucking sicko mode on these guys. Anyways, if you happen to enjoy today's video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. And without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and explain about the first minute and a half of this video because she talks way too much about shit no one could care about if they tried to, right? Basically, all that happened is this woman right here, Riley, went over to a man's house to hang out with him for the night. Well, by the time she got there, some of his boys decided they wanted to go bowling. So rather than, you know, snuggling up on the couch and watching the notebook, this guy decided, you know what, fuck this, I'm going bowling with my boys. This girl obviously gets upset. She goes to her car to leave the house. Once she gets in her vehicle, the key won't turn, so she can't start the car. Now we can get into the actual video. I'm a little bit stressed out, to be honest, because my plans canceled on me, and I don't have a car that starts. So I'm, like, starting to, like, tear up a little bit. Like, little tears are driven down my face. I wasn't, like, full-blown crying, but, like, I'm sure he could tell. Um, And so this kid looks anxious to get out of there, so, I, so he asks me, like, are you fine? And I'm like... Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'll figure something out. He leaves. Do you understand? When a girl says that she's fine, she's usually not fine. Like, this dude, oh my gosh, literally left me there, like, in front of his house with a car that's broken to go hang out with some other friends after he told me that I could spend the evening with him. Eventually, I got my friend's parents to pick me up, and I cried the entire way to their house. But the most embarrassing part of it all, I continued to hang out with this kid, and he continued to last minute cancel on me. Girls literally know your worth. Hold up. There's no way she just said that, right? I gotta be tripping some goddamn balls over here. There ain't no way she just said that. I continued to hang out with this kid, and he continued to last minute cancel on me. Girls literally know your worth. Do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, such blasphemy, such ridiculous nonsense. This is so disrespectful. I mean, there's nothing like telling other women to know their worth right after you admit to being thrown around like a rag doll. I mean, like, what did you expect? Clearly this guy has no interest in you. He cares more about his boys and going bowling than he does staying home with a chick. You know what I'm saying? Now, honestly, I see two wrongs here in the situation. First off, this man, he shouldn't have left this girl stranded, right? Like, you should at least make sure she's safe or, you know, it's like something at least. Like, if her car is not going to start, at least find a way to get her home, right? Like, you're already driving in the car. Why don't you just drop her off at her house and then go to the bowling alley? Clearly, that guy didn't handle the situation to the best of his abilities, but I mean, I think it kind of shows he had no interest in this woman to begin with. Now, on the flip side of things, if we take a look at the situation from Riley's perspective, I kind of got a little bit of an issue here because she has this sense of entitlement. And this right here is really what separates women from each other, right? Like, you have those independent bad bitches that should be running companies. They are good people, they have critical thinking skills, and they are up to any challenge. But then, on the flip side, you have girls like this that are all 
Oh, woe is me. My life is so bad. It's and I'm sorry, bitch, but no one fucking cares, okay? Should this guy have stayed back and helped you, made sure your car would start up? Yes, he should have, right? Like, that was kind of a douchebag move. But at the same time, just because you're a woman, it doesn't mean you can't work on a vehicle, right? Like, I get it. You know, you're all, ooh, I don't want to get my nails dirty. I get it. But still, at the same time, you can learn how to work on a vehicle. You can learn how to fix things. But then again, that might just be too much work for someone who clearly knows their worth. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I also, I just want to let you guys know, I'm probably going to be trying some different types of content in the future and mainly like some shorter videos. I know a lot of you guys in the comments section, you're always asking me for like 10 minute long videos or hell, even longer sometimes. I get that. I mean, I really do, man. Sometimes I'll make commentaries and they're 20 plus minutes and I have to go back through and cut out shit that like isn't exactly important to the information. But for some reason, dude, whenever I post longer videos, they just don't really get the same watch time. You know, people just don't fucking click them. I don't know if it's like the whole TikTok thing. People like short form content now or what. But I will tell you one thing that people enjoy, and that is the world's greatest goddamn channel members on the face of the planet. Shout out to Factionator, Genitals, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I really do appreciate the hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today day more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms and i will catch you guys next time later bro what the heck Hey, excuse me? Yeah. Um, I just want to say I think you're really cute, and I was wondering if I could get your Snapchat. Fuck <laughs> no. Uh, excuse me? I just, nah. I'm good. <laughs> Trust me. I don't uh, know, you just kind of kind of busted looking. No. Uh, I, I go for more, like, attractive ones. Got, got it. Got it. What's up dudes welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual so uh what we all just witnessed was a woman getting brutally rejected like it's one thing to be turned down in a nice way right like oh i'm very sorry i'm married or you know you're just not my type something like that but this woman bro i swear to god she just got rko'd by john cena hey, look at randy orton slithering oh, watch, like out, watch, out, watch out watch out watch out watch out so the video starts off with her recording this guy in the gym, and I gotta say, that's kind of crossing a boundary, don't you think? Like, I get it, it's a public space, but people are fucking working out, they don't want to be filmed. I don't care if you're filming someone because they're cute, or maybe they're even shoving a dumbbell up their bum hole. Either way, man, it's a breach of privacy, and I've seen some weird shit happen at the gym, but you just, like, you kinda act like it didn't happen, even though it did. Like, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some times where it's okay to record and, you know, everyone's given consent, but, dude, like, this is so fucking weird, you're just sitting in the back of the gym recording someone, I don't really know about that, man. Anyways, this woman eventually builds up enough confidence to go over there and ask this man for his Snapchat, to which then he replies, uh, fuck no, you are very fugly. You know in elementary school when they teach you like, oh, honesty is the best policy, it's the golden rule, or whatever bullshit like that, right? This man took that to a literal standpoint. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty tough to watch just because, you know, that girl got fucking bodied. But like, you can't deny, this guy might be more honest than Honest Abe himself. So the thing that's like really interesting to me about this whole situation is that this man could have handled things completely differently, right? Like he could have just said, no, thank you. I'll pass. He could have just got the Snapchat and, you know, never accepted her friend request or responded to her or anything like that. Or he could have just said, I'm sorry, you're not my type. But instead, this man woke up and chose violence. Now, I know there's already going to be a Jimmy down there typing in the comments. Dude, are you fucking kidding me, man? That's so disrespectful. And yeah. It is. It was pretty fucking rude, but you know what's also really fucking rude? Recording people at the gym without their consent. It's ironic that this whole video took place at a Planet Fitness because isn't their whole business motive like a judgment-free zone where you're not supposed to record each other and make fun of fat people and shit like that? 
Now, I get she was judging him in a good way, but still, like, you'd think Planet Fitness has some sort of policy against, oh, I can just video record whoever the fuck I want in this building today. I mean, if that was the case, I really think we'd see a lot more fedora-wearing fat fellas with video cameras behind the squat racks, if you uh, kind of get what I'm saying there. Now, the best part of every rejection is what happens right after the incident takes place. And unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of context of what happened after she walked away from him. We can see her pull her mask down and mouth the words, what the fuck? You could also hear her laugh whenever he called her busted. Either way, man, I gotta give it to the woman. I think she handled the whole reject pretty well, for the most part. I mean, that was a pretty harsh one, right? Like, it's one thing to be let down soft, you walk away, no big deal, no hard feelings. I can't lie, man, I'm having some difficulty reading her body language right here. Like, part of me says, you know, this video is fake, it's staged, and it's just whatever, shits and giggles, right? And part of me says that she's in such disbelief of what actually just took place, like, her brain hasn't comprehended the whole situation yet. It will, though. It definitely will eventually. I mean, disbelief catches up with all of us one day. And, uh, yeah, with all that being said, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout-out to the world's greatest channel members of all time. We have Factionator, Jenna Tolls, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. National Women's Day to celebrate. Um, I have taken my subtle uh, feminist power moves and I'm going, they're not going to be subtle today. So my first call to action was make a man feel inferior to me. You know, nothing screams equality more than making someone else feel inferior to you just because you feel like it. Anyways, what's up dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Let me tell you fellas, it has been one for me, alright? It has been a day. I'm not gonna lie, I made a couple whoopsies at work today. It's really not that big of a deal, but then I get to come home and listen to this stupid shit on my phone? Now I'm sure this woman is not going to say anything important whatsoever. Like, it's probably not going to add any value to your life. But, you know, if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the content, and let's get into it. So to accomplish this, I saw a man lifting a 35-pound dumbbell, and I decided to go lift a 45-pound dumbbell in front of him and, and repped it out more than he did. You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn well. fucker. Oh, oh, oh my god, okay, oh damn, alright. So let me get this straight, you wanted to make a man feel inferior to you on International Women's Day, and you thought the best possible scenario was to go to the gym and lift a dumbbell that's just a little bit heavier than what a guy was lifting. Honestly, where the fuck do you people come from? Who cares? Anyone? Anyone? Does anyone care? Because I, I know that I don't fucking care. Secondly, if a man is talking, I will be interrupting him today. I will be interrupting because what I have to say is more important. Thirdly, if you're in my way, um, I'm not moving. <laughs> I will not be moving. Um, you can move out of my way. <laughs> Lastly, if you want to go the extra mile, embrace your inner Drew. Make a podcast and rip those motherfuckers to shreds. And rip those motherfuckers. All right, so I would like to address the elephant in the room now, and um, this woman is fucking cringe. I don't know why you would even make a video like this, but on top of that, you posted it. Does that make you feel good about yourself? Does that make you feel better? This woman is mentally insane, all right? So she wants to get back at men on International Women's Day. And you see, man, like, that's the issue with society right there. This is supposed to be some stupid holiday, okay? I don't know why we have these stupid-ass holidays in the first place. I don't need a men's day. I don't need a day to celebrate any shit. But how come on International Women's Day, we're not celebrating women? Instead, we're shitting on men. And to be quite frank, shitting on is an understatement here because I think she made it pretty obvious. She is looking to tear a man in half. I really just can't imagine being so fucking petty to where you're like, oh, today's the day. I'm not going to move. I'm going to make the man move. 
If that's what makes you feel powerful in this world, then I'd say you're probably a pretty shallow person and don't really have much to live for. I don't know, man. This just doesn't really make sense to me. Like, if you're really that big of a badass, just fight the man. Quit picking up dumbbells. Quit giving them dirty looks. Just fucking fight them. And I want you guys to take note as well. Next time a woman says that she's a feminist and she's, you know, all for supporting equality, I want you to go ahead and show her this video. Show her this woman right here. On second thought, if she is a true feminist, you know, she's probably going to come back with some stupid ass remark. Uh, she's also going to be speaking in beluga whale, which is kind of hard to understand here. I'll, I'll go ahead and say a sentence for you guys. It sounds like, uh, <laughs> so yeah, whenever you see those women that are extremely overweight, you know, they resemble the shape of a bowling ball and they start speaking in fluent whale language. You know what you got, fellas. I'm sorry to tell you, you've encountered a feminist. And I just want to remind you guys, these people are extremely stupid. They have very, very low IQs. It's really not worth engaging with these people. You're just going to lose brain cells in the end. So anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time. We have, all right, come on, man. We got poopy butthole genitals. <laughs> Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms out there. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. <laughs>
<laughs> now, you could try and make the argument that she's upset because essentially what the guy is saying is that she's not a strong, independent woman. And to that, I have to say, if she was a strong, independent woman, she wouldn't be crying about it on fucking TikTok. Honestly, bro, now that I think about it, this woman just didn't pass the vibe check. I didn't even realize this until right now. That man was doing a 300 IQ play. In fact, he was putting her through a test before the test was even given. If you were a strong, independent bad bitch, you would have stood up for yourself right then, right there. But she didn't. She didn't. Instead, you just cried to a bunch of 13-year-olds on TikTok. And guess what? No one fucking cares. No one. Not a single one. Not even a little bit. And before we end the video, I just want to make a statement here, alright? I don't think the man did anything wrong. He could have used a little different verbiage, and, um, I mean, things might have gone differently, but it honestly seems like he dodged a bullet by using that wordage. Now, I'm just an old boomer. I've been out of the dating scene for quite a while now, but are people really that fucking quick to give up on each other? I mean, people make mistakes. They say things without even thanking them. But then again, all you did was literally talk to this guy on the phone for like five fucking minutes. I mean, at least meet up in person and like get to know each other a little bit. Anyways, fellas, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to shout out the channel members. We have Factionator, Jenna Tolls, Zingies, and Joseph. I mean, come on now. You guys should know that I appreciate the hell out of my channel members. They're all the fucking greatest, all right? If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member yourself. Uh, but more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. <laughs>
All right, so she matches with someone on Tinder. She tries to get them over and put the bed together for her. I mean, honestly, what did you expect? You really think any dude on the first date is just going to willingly come over and put your bed together for you when you are more than capable of doing it yourself? She can cry about getting ghosted all she wants, but at the end of the day, she's getting ghosted for the right reasons, and I don't think I've ever said that. Now, from my perspective, if I was the man in this situation, I'm not coming over either because you want me to come over and put your bed together? Okay, great. How about next time you want me to come over, I'm going to have to mow your fucking lawn too or give your dog a bath, you know, something ridiculous. I mean, you guys know, I hate to be the bad guy here, but, you know, I'm also realistic. This woman is going to be single for a very long time if she can't get her shit together. You know, just as a friendly doctor, I'd like to give some advice here, and that would be, uh, let's start with those armpits, all right? Let's take care of those, because I can't even imagine what's going on downstairs. Anyways, fellas, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, one thing I would like to say, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get four videos out this week. Unfortunately, YouTube is cucking me. They got me by the balls right now, man. You know who doesn't have me by the balls right now, though? Is my channel members, because they're the greatest people on earth. Here we have Poopy Butthole, Genitals, Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. Uh, but more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Why do I find it so hard to shoot my shot? when I want somebody. Like, baby, I know. I know what I look like. I know that I'm bringing this to the table, as well as this to the table, as well as this to the table, and yet... Am I the only one that's a little confused here? Because what exactly are you bringing to the table? You know, if you're trying to say your physique is so good, um, I can go to Walmart. I can probably find 30 of you today. It's really not that special. And while we're on this topic, is this just like the new normal thing that women are going to start doing? Anytime they go through a breakup, they're going to put on some skimpy outfit, make a TikTok and think they're the next hot shit. Anyways, what's up dudes? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So we're going to be taking a look at a woman who is upset about double standards in the dating industry. Women being like, if you really want a man to respect you, then you have to make him wait for it. Or telling her that she needs to reevaluate the type of men that she fucks with. As if it's her fault for the way that men treat her. And I'm so, so sick of this outdated patriarchal idea. Because I said it once, I'll say it a million more times. If a man will only respect you after you make him wait for it, he is not the type of man who will ever respect you. Now, I'll be the first to admit this isn't completely avoidable, right? Because sometimes good people make bad decisions. However, with that being said, you can definitely control some of it, right? Like if I go to the state penitentiary, I'm probably not going to find a whole lot of good dudes down there. And sometimes this comes down to priorities, right? If we take a look at this graph right here, 90% of women on Bumble are looking for a man that is six foot or taller. Now, I'm not saying you can't find some dude that's over six foot tall and treats you with respect, but I am kind of saying, you know, there may be someone out there who's 5'11 that would be willing to treat you right, but yet you don't even give them the fucking opportunity. Like, dude, that's so insane. 90%. 90% of women won't even look a dude who's 5'10 in the eyes and even give him a chance. Feeling. And let me tell you something, as a bisexual woman, why has this problem never cropped up with me after sleeping with a woman very quickly? Hmm? I wonder why that is. Is it because of some ugly double standard that we have to treat men like uh, untrained dogs and go, No! No, you have to treat me like a human. Bad dog. You have to respect my mind and my body. No! It's 2021. I'm so exhausted by this. Like, hold men accountable for shitty behavior, please. Dude, that was honestly so fucking cringe when she started slapping her hand, talking about putting the puppy down. Dude, listen, all right? At the beginning of this video, we watched a video of you bragging about your body, talking about how much better you are than some other man and what you have to offer to him. But yet, here you are, crying once again. 
All you did was cry about how women should make men wait to get laid, that way they'll actually respect them. I mean, like, isn't that pretty much common sense at this point? You shouldn't be going around fucking every dude you see on the side of the street. Now, in all seriousness, to me, it seems like your number one point here in your video is that you want a man to respect you. Let me give you some advice, all right? This is free, by the way. I'm not charging you at all. If we take a quick little look on your TikTok page here, we can see that, uh, you're pretty much, like, damn near naked in every video you make. Make. Somehow, some way, you're showing off your body, you're wearing some sort of skimpy clothing. Listen, that's not how you get a man to respect you, okay? That's how you get little boys to click on your video on TikTok if that's what makes you sleep at night. But that's just not how you're gonna gain a man's respect. If anything, it makes you look easy, it makes you appear like a quick little pump and dump. And if that's what you're into, that's fine. You know, nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, you want to get someone's respect? Well, you ain't going to do it like that. And with all that being said, fellas, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all time. We have Savarstis, Dr. Bolo Gets Pussy, Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. For all your support and watching. See my dumpy, don't you? <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks bigger. It's not that big. It's not. Is it? Wait. If I'm being completely honest here, it is actually very sad. It is straight up pathetic how much validation these e-girls need from little boys on TikTok. It's funny because these are the same type of girls that will put content creator in their Instagram bios, but yet, I personally just don't think it takes that much creativity to suck ass at video games and uh, have your cleavage out at the same time. All I know, dude, is that if a woman like this is out here doing what she's doing, everyone's fine with it, you know? It's just a normal day on Twitch. However, if a 40-year-old man is playing Minecraft with his shirt off saying, Hey kids, look at my nipples! Now, oh, oh my god, you've crossed the line, you've gone way too far. So, uh, yeah, anyways, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual, and I'm so glad to be back with another video of women getting rejected. Personally, one of my favorite series here on the channel. So we're actually going to take another look at that Twitch thought. She's going to try and flirt with this single stepdad on Call of Duty, and, well, let's see how she handles the rejection. You got a wife, don't you? Nope. A girlfriend? Nah. I'm a single dad. Oh. I could be a stepmom. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't even sound like a woman. I'm 25. What a great response because honestly, when people question if I'm a man or not, you know, I always just respond with my age too because it, it makes total sense if you really think about it. Like here, I'll give you guys a good example. Hello, Mr. Turtle. What is your favorite color? Um, I like many. Ah, yes, this must be one of those very stupid turtles where I have to talk very slow and um, give them a window and a helmet and they can lick... Anyways, let's just move on. The most important thing to take away from this video was quite literally this face right here. This is a face that says, I do not deal with rejection much and I do not like to be rejected. This is what happens when a woman lives life on recruit difficulty and actually has to play on the normal mode for once. Me today. Tell it to. Um, can I ask why? Um, well, I know a man when I see one. <laughs> So, uh, did her brain just, like, internally combust or something? Because what the hell was that? I ain't gonna lie, I thought she was winding up to deliver, like, the world's coldest fucking slap of the year, but she didn't. Well, I've never had that one before. James, is kind of rude. I think you should apologize. No. And my girlfriend's way harder than you. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's fair enough, yeah. So I gotta give it to the guy. I think he was pretty honest and um, pretty ruthless as well, man. I ain't gonna lie. He just, he didn't hold nothing back. And I gotta say, I think I'm right there with this guy, man. If this woman stopped me on the side of the street, asked me to rate her, I think she's also getting a two.
I truly don't care how hot you are. You could be a solid 10 in terms of looks, but if you need validation from others, especially online, at that point to me, you're nothing more than a 2. And I like to think that's me being a little generous there. I don't know, man. I just truly could never imagine my girlfriend being like, hey, babe, do you mind if I go out and seek validation from others on the side of the street so it'll stroke my ego? And I will say, there are some men out there that will work extremely hard to get pussy, and, and that's fine if that's your thing, but I'm just saying, bro. You can buy a girl flowers and take her out on cute dates, do all the stupid-ass Instagram pictures and stuff. You can do all that work for one vagina or you can work on your bank account and have a hundred vaginas to choose from but to each their own you guys know the saying different strokes for different folks and with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it you know what else i really appreciate these guys who get laid all the fucking time okay and that's the channel members we have niga singa savarstis zingies and that's it guys thank you so much for your support i really do appreciate it if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today but uh more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and i will catch you guys next time later down one nice nice dude's like right there on the outside of that wall Oh, yeah. he one. Yep, he is. He's down here. Down low, okay. nice. What a game, bro. Uh, I'm actually kind of pissed. I should have had so much Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> okay, this one's gonna be a little bit of a downer. Sorry. But people in relationships need to stop telling single people to enjoy this time while they're single. Ha date yourself. I've been dating myself now for six years. Hmm, I wonder why. You're really gonna sit here and tell me after six years of looking, you have not found someone else to spend your life with yet. Look at my man Tim shooting his shot right now. He says, if I was younger, I'd be that man for you. I hope you find a good man, sweetheart. And look, he's even still looking for you. What an absolute beauty Tim is. And if I quickly look through the comment section here, you know, let's say Tim is just not the one. He's got a big nose and maybe big noses just don't tickle your pickle, okay? If I look through the comments, section here you got Tim's all over the goddamn place now realistically speaking these people are probably not going to fit the role you're looking for exactly but if that's the problem right six years later you still haven't found someone have you ever considered looking in the mirror I'm not saying you're the problem I'm just saying you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results so uh you do with that information as you please anyways what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel I hope you're all having a fantastic day you know i'm just the pig guy out here and we're gonna check out some women getting rejected by men personally one of the best series here on the channel so uh let's get into it can someone explain to me why all men suck you know what's funny is i was gonna say you should take a look in the mirror but we all know women spend half their fucking life in front of a mirror honestly this is one of my favorite lines i ever get to hear because to me it screams i have no accountability rather than looking at the whole situation here and you know deciding maybe i'm dating out of my league or i have a special type of guy that probably is just not good for a long-term relationship instead no that that can't be possible there's no way that's possible dude all men just have to suck i mean yeah totally that's literally the only answer that makes sense here i've been talking to a guy we've been texting it was great he said i'm five minutes away from picking you up i got all dressed up for a date and boom i'm blocked 
And I don't understand why men treat good women like shit. Like, I am an amazing woman. I am an amazing woman. So amazing that the man was five minutes from your house and rather than picking you up, he said, Nah, I think I'm just gonna block her. Huge heart. Very loyal. And men just play with my feelings. That's all they do. Just make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. While I'm not trying to be mean to these two women we've watched today, I am like kind of saying, you know, if you are sick of getting played like the goddamn fiddle by all these men, isn't it time you change something? Do something fucking different, man, please. Find you a man like Tim, all right? All these girls are out here posting bikini swimsuit videos, twerking videos. Meanwhile, my man Tim out here, he's still searching for Mrs. Wright. Look at this beautiful face right here. Do you think this guy's gonna get five minutes away from your house and block you? Hell no. This man got the AC cranked all the way up on his 1998 Dodge Dakota. He's gonna make sure that seat is nice and cold for you when you get in. And if you're real special to him, I'm sure he'll give you one of those cute nicknames like Sugar Tits or something. Anyways, there's one thing I really need to show you guys about this whole situation here, and that's if you really do want all these men to respect you, it starts with not doing this on your TikTok, all right? Like, some of these images are actually really bad. I had to blur them for YouTube, but, like, your whole fucking ass is hanging out in one of them. When you post videos and pictures like that, it doesn't make dudes want to come to you and say, oh my god, I, I need a long-term relationship with you. <laughs> It just doesn't happen. You're trying to get a man to spend 90 years with you and the man is just trying to spend 90 seconds. Except a man like Tim, alright? Tim will spend 90 bucks on gas to fill up his Dodge Dakota to take you out on the town for a night. In all seriousness though, I don't think this woman deserve, or either of these women deserve to be let on, alright? I don't agree with that at all. But like, if you continue to get rejected by all these different dudes, I mean honestly, at some point you have to look at yourself and say, if you're truly such an amazing woman with such a big heart, where are you fucking up in life right now? What could you be doing different? I don't know, man. At least that's how my mind operates, all right? Like, for instance, the other day I was driving on the highway and my tire blew out. Brand new spanking tire, right? Less than 500 miles. But I didn't sit there and cry on the fucking highway saying, man, this is bullshit. All these tires are out to get me right now. It's just not fair. Instead, I was like, damn, I shouldn't have been in that lane. You know, maybe there was a nail or, or something that got in my tire and that caused it to pop. Either way, man, let's get Tim some pussy. And with that being said, that's it for the rest of the video guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it thank you so much to the greatest channel members on the face of the planet these guys also should be getting some pussy right now shout out to savarstis and that's it guys thank you for your support it really does mean everything to me if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today but uh more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want me to cream pie susan and i will catch you guys next time later where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! When I hear someone say being a mother to three cats isn't a job? Oh my god, man, this is what's wrong with society nowadays, man, it just is. I'm just gonna say I am very thankful that the older generation does not know how to work TikTok, because if they did, I think they'd all have a fucking aneurysm. All I'm saying here, fellas, is that most of our great-grandparents were expected to be out of bed by 5 a.m. and go build airplanes during the World War, and they do that all freaking day. They would have no lives. They just build airplanes and, and really f*** themselves up, them and their bodies. And nowadays, you have extremely cute girls online saying that they should be a holy hold up a second. I gotta say, I would love to suck on those Jolly Ranchers below her nose right now, but anyways, she wants to take care of her cats, 
as a job, all right? Putting milk in a fucking bowl and feeding them cat nibble is not a job, all right? Anyways, do you guys know what's really so special about this video to me? Is you know, I was sitting here watching it. I'm seeing the blue-haired woman saying, oh, feeding my cats should be a full-time job. No, 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 Okay. The great thing about this video is that I noticed she has some bags of groceries in the back seat. And the best part, really, is that I paid for those fucking groceries, all right? If you're going to sit here and tell me that feeding cats should be a job, then I'm just going to assume you've never actually had a quote-unquote real job and uh, by that I automatically assume you're on food stamps therefore you're welcome for the groceries. Anyways one thing I quickly want to touch on before we get into the actual video today is that my ass fucking hurts dude like it hurts really bad because Susan has been butt fucking me for about an entire week now and she's got a girthy ass motherfucking cock and I swear to god it hurts so bad all right let me explain something. So lately everything on the internet has been pretty dry but as of last week you know I thought there was several things that warranted videos so I made three to four videos last week and I had them all uploaded so take a look at this right here the other day I made this video on Friday August the 26th at 7 p.m. I had it uploaded by like 9 or 10 p.m. I think and requested a review to this very day it is currently September 2nd at about 10 p.m. at night it is still not fucking approved all right same with these other two three videos dude youtube is fucking me man like there's literally nothing i can do guys okay i'm not trying to do the whole woe is me type thing right now i want to upload more than once a week but really this is like why one of the main reasons i had to step back a little bit you know Anyways, man, like it fucking sucks and obviously I'm not too thrilled about it, but the last two videos I've uploaded here on the channel obviously were not monetized. I don't think my channel is demonetized, but it's almost as if they're just not really going to monetize my channel. Anyways, most of you probably don't care about, all you care about is that Susan has a fucking girthy ass cock and let's just get into today's video. So dating is not easy for women, all right? Before we get any further in this video, guys leave a comment down below what do you think true or false is it easier for a woman to date i am sick and tired of this narrative that dating is easy for women like yeah sure i might get a free drink or a free appetizer here and there but hot girls have problems too Oh, so you should be just fine then. You really have nothing to worry about. Now let's go ahead and elaborate on what she just said right there. Hot girls have problems too. Yes, that is true. Everyone in this world has problems, but you can't sit here and tell me that a hot woman has to work just as hard as some ugly fat chick, all right? It's just not true. That's like people saying, oh, if I just won the lottery, all my issues would go away. No, not really. You're still going to have issues, but issues don't fucking matter when you know your house is paid for you know you got a fucking ferrari in the garage like yeah life still sucks but it sucks a lot less when you know you're rich for example do you know how hard it is to have to explain my life story to a revolving door of strangers and pretend that it's some sort of like cohesive narrative that i endorse and not just like a series of trauma and disaster that somehow led to me not being in prison because it's hard people ask a lot of questions some of them are very personal. Okay, we get it. You let the whole fucking football team run a train on your ass in the locker room, and you're not really proud to admit that to someone you're trying to call your husband. Anyways, I just want to make sure I got this right here. So the reason it's hard for hot girls to date nowadays is because they have to explain their life story to everyone they meet. Almost as if everyone else on the goddamn planet has to do the same exact thing, except you have to be interesting while saying it. Otherwise, that person doesn't give a fuck about you, all right? And that right there is where, once again, a hot girl has a significant advantage over everyone else. For example, all right, let's say you're on Tinder. You match with two different women. One of them is really fucking hot, and one of them is a uh, BBW. And let's say they're both being pretty short in their responses, all right? The BBW says, hi, 
what's up what are you doing cool like you're just gonna be like dude i'm wasting my fucking time trying to communicate with this woman meanwhile if the hot chick were to do that to you it's almost like a game in your mind all right i don't even know how to explain this it's just simple psychology at this point it's almost like a challenge you're like dude i want to get this girl to fucking like me all right i gotta say some some whack-ass shit i gotta keep her interested listen fellas it sucks all right i'm not saying life is fair i'm just saying that's just how the cookie crumbles you know now she ended off her video by saying some of these questions are very personal and then proceeds to act like she's about to cry. You know, here's the crazy thing I do. When someone asks me a question and it's a little on the personal side, you know, I, I do this really crazy thing actually and I uh, don't fucking answer it. I just move on with my life. If anything, I'll write it on some toilet paper and I'll wipe my fucking ass with it because that's how much I care about what someone else thinks of me. Anyways, if there was one thing I could say to this woman, it would be take a look around the world's ecosystem right now and let's look at the dating game in specific. Who has it easiest when it comes to finding a significant other? Is it some fat dude with a tiny wee wee? Probably not, right? Like he's probably gonna struggle to find a companion. Meanwhile, if you look at some blonde chick with big fucking titties, all right, and she doesn't act like she has a stick up her fucking ass her whole life, I mean, she's actually cool and fun to hang out with, she's probably going to find someone extremely easy, all right? She is literally at the top of the food chain at that point. If you were to ask every single person on this planet who has it easiest when it comes to dating, I would guarantee fucking T the data points in the direction of a hot woman. If you are struggling to to find that significant other, I hate to break the bad news to you, but maybe you're not in that category and instead you're, uh, ugly as fuck just like the rest of us. Anyways, fellas, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I appreciate? The world's greatest channel members, all right? We have Abby Blackbird, who has been a pretty big fan of the channel for quite some time now. So, Abby, I really do appreciate you. Thank you also to Savarstis, and that's it. And also, Jenna tolls all right jenna i feel like you kind of got fucked over last month i'm throwing your name in this month too all right just because susan fucked me which in return fucked you and at the end of the day we're all just getting fucked it's just the world is one big orgy if you really think about it so yep i will leave that information with you guys uh, again thank you to the channel members subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and i will catch you all next time later but hot girls have problems too where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! Oh my god!